Konnichiwa. Hello everyone. This is Christopher in Japan and this is my continuing series on assembling a Prusa i3 Mach 3 printer. Uh, so uh, this is the second issue that I've encountered and it was during the assembly of the e-axis or the extruder and I need to turn this around so that you can see a little bit hopefully. So uh, this particular part of the manual had um, uh, 50 steps and uh, one uh, the 34th step in the manual um, after you had assembled the entire extruder was to start mounting the extruder onto the X carriage and uh, one of the steps was to insert this nylon filament into a slot on the back of the extruder and i just couldn't get this i i cut it as they described in the manual and i just couldn't get it to fit in this slot and stay there and this this uh filament ends up holding all these wires in place and that seems to be a pretty important thing because um, you can have problems where they kind of droop onto the bed and get in the way of the printing or um, get uh, rub, rubbed up against something and end up uh, breaking the wires inside. So um, I noticed that this particular step had the most comments in the online manual about so other people had this problem too. And a lot of people suggested drilling the slot in the back of the extruder a little bit deeper or wider. Um, but that just didn't seem, I mean, the, the heating element is right behind there. It just didn't seem very nice. Uh, so I took a break. Uh, I took the opposite approach. I actually uh, whittled this or filed this down a little bit more. So I'll try to show you a photo of um, what I did to this uh, tip of the nylon filament. So I can now stick it into that hole, hopefully not get it in my coffee, and it, it stays there pretty well. All right. So uh, I guess I would like to suggest that uh, people who tackle this uh, printer assembly think about uh, taking the, the fifth part of the manual and breaking it into two pieces. I'd love it if Prusa maybe actually did that. The manual is wonderfully written, um, but this particular part of the manual has 50 steps and that's just too many um, by the time I got done just assembling the extruder, I was exhausted. I probably should have taken much more of a break um, around the 30th step before I tackled trying to put this onto the X carriage. So I would recommend you break this particular part of the assembly into two distinct tasks. Putting together the extruder and then mounting the extruder onto the X carriage. So, thank you for watching my videos. And as always, I'd very much like to hear your opinions and ideas and feedback. See you next time.